In this video, we are continuing our derivation of an unbiased estimator for sigma squared. And this is what we got up to at the end of the last video. So we've got the trace of mx times mx primed, all times sigma squared. So let's just remind ourselves of what mx is. mx is just equal to the identity matrix minus the orthogonal projection matrix onto the column space of x, which we just called px. So what in this circumstance is mx prime, or the transpose of mx? Well, it's just going to be equal to the transpose of the identity matrix, which is just the identity matrix, minus the transpose of px. But what is the transpose of px? So px, we know, is just equal to x times x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed. So when we take the transpose of this whole thing, we're taking the transpose of this expression on the right here, and when you've got the transpose of a product, essentially what happens is the order inverts. So the first term is actually going to be the transpose of x transpose, which is just x. And then similarly, we can talk about the transpose of this term inside the parenthesis here. Well, again, they're just going to invert, but we're going to be left with exactly the same thing. So we're just going to have x prime x all to the power minus 1. And then the final term is just this first term all transposed. But I hope you can see that this is just our original um, orthogonal projection matrix P of x. And um, so mx is unchanged by taking the transpose. So that means that mx is equal to mx prime. OK, so that's helpful. But this expression here is essentially mx times itself. So what does that actually equal? So mx times mx is just equivalent to i minus px times i minus px, which if you sort of multiply this out, we're going to have our first term is just going to be i times i, which is just going to be i. Then the next term is going to be i times px, which is just going to be px. And then we get another px from p of x, or px times i, so we just get that. And finally, we get a plus um, px times um, px. But because we know that px is idempotent, that means we're just going to get plus px. We're not going to have a px squared here because px is equivalent to px squared. So you can see that this last term cancels with one of the other terms, and we're just left with i minus px. So in other words, mx times mx primed is just mx. So this expression at the top here just becomes the trace of mx, all times sigma squared. And I promise in the last video, in the next video rather, we're going to finish our derivation of sigma hat squared.